Breaking news for you. According to a person familiar with the matter, Guggenheim Scott Minard has passed away. He just has died. That's according to a person familiar with the matter. Shanali is on set with us, walking us through all this. What happened? It, it was extraordinarily unexpected and sudden. He is in his early 60s. We had heard from our sources that he had passed away suddenly yesterday, late afternoon. We had heard it was a heart attack. We are just getting details as we speak. This note to employees just went out, according to our sources, to Guggenheim employees. Remember, Scott was one of the most vocal people in the fixed income industry. He's not just closely, closely tied to Guggenheim, but his many years over at Credit Suisse First Boston and Morgan Stanley, even longer than that, and Merrill yep. Lynch. Um, this is very sudden and sad news. He, he was quite literally a, a, a giant of a man, a giant in the industry. I, you sat down next to him. He, he was a really big guy, and, and he had a really outside effects, uh, outsized effects on this industry. Just talk about his legacy, Shanali. Talk about the impact that he had. Uh, it, just tremendous. Remember, he was one of the most vocal critics when it came to some of the Federal Reserve policies throughout. Um, and th that is just in the bond market. To your point here, also, he had always been very thought-provoking here. He had made very bold calls, which is what he was known for, from everything from the fixed income market to the Bitcoin market. And the idea here with Scott, and I've worked with him for almost nine years now, the idea with Scott was always to jog ideas here. Mm -hmm. And so uh, he was also a philanthropist. He had tried to spend a lot of time when it came to the wildlife preservation, when you look at Alaska as well as Europe, um, I believe in the Icelandic region. And so you do have a, a very interesting person here on Wall Street that will be very, 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 very sorely missed. Yeah. Um, and if you're just joining us, the breaking news that Scott Minard of Guggenheim uh, has died. Um, yeah. Where does this leave Guggenheim? Well, he is certainly the face, the heart, uh, the, the, the beating soul of the investment management division here. This is a more than $200 billion investment management division that really he was a very core member and founding member of. He has deputies there, such as Ann Walsh, who is kind of a giant in the fixed income world in her own right, longtime insurance executive as well, very close to the assets and the liabilities inside of Guggenheim. But again, Scott was the face, like as I was saying, mm -hmm. and the beating heart of Guggenheim Investment Management. Now, Guggenheim Investment Management is one part of Guggenheim Partners, which also has a securities division. Remember, this uh, group of people here includes uh, Mark Walter and Alan Schwartz. But he, again, this asset manager was really led in large part by Scott Minard, whose personality was larger than life.